Welcome back to The Sims 3 Supernatural Late Night LP. So, I just spent like ugh, an hour or two, I don't even know how long, trying to uh, build a new house. So, I basically purchased this big space uh, as an additional property. Because I think that when we get the new Sims, there's just not going to be enough space in this house, and I wanted them close by, so I didn't. I went and purchased that, but I am very much a perfectionist when it comes to building, and I didn't really like what I was doing, so I had to scrap it all, and I'm very sad about that because. I just wasted so much time. I hate this, by the way. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is probably try again off camera to build it again. Um, but yeah, I am going to make it very different in this house. It's going to be much uh, less dark. Uh, I'm going to have like the fairy. Oh, oh well, I'm going to get a fairy eventually. I'm going to have the fairy, the human, and stuff like that live in there. And then the vampires, werewolf will live in here. And... It's just going to be much darker in here. Anywho, so, uh, yeah, so that's my plans for this property right here. I have to evict these guys. Now they're like, where do we go? We don't own this land. <laughs> and I'm like, ha, ha, ha. Anyway, so we're going to have um, um, Brianna. She is going to start biting some vampires. So let's go ahead and knock these down. Use the toilet. And uh, we're going to have some fun. So I really, really want um, the butler to... Uh, I think it would be fun for the butler to become a vampire. He'll, he'll be our first victim. He actually is um, pretty close with her anyway. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find him now. Oh, her computer broke? Well, good thing we're not writing books anymore. Where is the butler? upstairs oh yeah there he is okay so we're gonna go ahead and oh we can already offer to turn I think that he'll say no so let's go ahead and uh, give gift we'll give him this book <laughs> uh, there we go and let's get this up a little bit okay don't you just love when they can't face each other? <laughs> so we're gonna hold hands. We're gonna have a little bit of a flirt. We're going to compliment appearance. We're going to compliment personality. Can we actually make him think of us? Schmoozer. She was the boss. What do they say about me? Uh, Admire. Um, dramatic story. Romantic. Um, we'll just have them shy kiss. I really hope he doesn't fall in love with her because she is literally just using him. <laughs> You're just the first of many victims. Let's see if we can actually drink from him. Okay, first of all, you guys are totally ruining the moment. No, no, no. What do you want? Okay, you need to go in the bath. So you can go in the bath. Take bath. You, you're eating honey. Awesome. Okay, well, you need to go and... Use the toilet. Just leave us alone, okay? We're trying to, like, have a little moment here with the butler. Um. Okay. Oh, wow. He let us bite him. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to offer to turn. Wow. He is okay. Wow. He's going to become a vampire. That is pretty sweet. So our butler is going to become a vampire eventually, which I think is awesome. Wow, this is pretty cool. Alright, so, one down. Um, we got to do some more, though. Okay, so, what's your... Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, Actually, yeah, you know what? Ours. I am going to go ahead and change her lifetime reward to turn the town. It actually originally was that, but I changed it. Dag dag. And uh, since we're going to go ahead and actually do that, we might as well keep it like that. So let's just go ahead and do that. Yes, I cheated. Whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so we have one person down. And we have four more to go. So we have to turn four more vampires. Mm. I'm just really excited mm. to talk about that. Okay, so you... You need to heal some zombies, but it's not yet a full moon. Okay, I never, ever, 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 ever want a full moon. And then the one time I need one, it's like <laughs> not here or even close. Right? That's just how it works. Okay, so I do want to work on that house. Um... You know what I might do? I might just build a really crappy looking place just so I can move in a new character. I think it'll be interesting to see how the fairy works. I've never actually played with the fairy before. So, you know what? I'm going to go... I know this part super short. Oh my gosh, it is really short. But I don't think you guys will want to watch me build a house and create the sim. Actually, I might go in to create a sim. <laughs> but I'm going to build a house off camp. I, actually, you know what? Let's go into she create a sim now. Okay, Lucky so time. let's go ahead and save this game. And then we'll go into create a sim, and I will create the fairy. I don't know what her name's going to be. I always like to create the sim and then see what they look like before I pick an actual name. Um, but I'm going to make the fairy a girl and the werewolf a guy. So, you know what? I might make the werewolf now as well. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But I don't really have enough space, so I definitely need to uh, build an expansion on this place. So I have to just go into options real quick and mute the music. Uh, okay, so we're going to go into edit town. Okay, and we're going to go into create a household. I'm kind of excited. Oh my god, you guys. So we're going to have two new sims. Oh my god. Running four is already hard enough. This game started with two. We got Colin to move in. We merged Valencia. And now we're about to merge two more. Okay, so let's go with the fairy first. Okay. Snar Kushla. Okay, yeah, this is all wrong. All wrong. Okay, so what I like to do is um, make them bald and then work on their face. And then once I get their face perfect, I add the hair. Okay, so we're going to go with this sh mm, shape. Okay, so I'm going to customize it. Okay, so head width. I kind of want to make her... Uh, uh that maybe and what is this do? Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Like that. Okay. So the problem with I have with Sims is I make a lot of them look pretty similar. So I'm trying to not do that, but it is harder than you think. I um the best way that I actually make them different is if I take a celebrity of some sort and uh, try to mimic their image. I find that when I just do it on my own, they look all the same. So, but we're gonna try to make this one look definitely unique. Uh, I do want her to. I do want to make her look friendly, and her she just needs a lot of work. Wow. Okay, so her chin is really distracting. So let's go ahead and. Um, why is it so big? Okay, so... Um, uh, I feel like it's sticking out. This is a good witch's chin. Um, that's a little better. Okay, so her jaw width, we can go ahead and pull that in. Jaw shape. I do like that shape. Looks pretty cool. Jaw height. Okay. Alright. So now let's go to eyes. Now here. I don't ever really use the customize. 
but I, I'll, I, I don't know. I've never used this side before, so we'll start with this one, but it probably won't look anything like it by the time I'm done. Um, I kind of... Um, uh, this is interesting. I never really used this one before. Lower... Um, Uh, okay. Wow, this is a weird looking eye, but it's kind of cool. Uh, brow height. Okay. Socket height. I kind of do like the eye socket pretty close to the eyes. Okay. Rotate. No. Um, there. Eye distance. Okay. I depth. That's all right. That's good. Okay, so that's good. Okay, you know what? These eyes are very different than any other eyes I've ever used on my Sims before, so I'm kind of excited about that. I do want to do something different. Now, um, go ahead and use this nose because I've never used this one before, and then we'll just play around with it. So let's make this. Oh, smaller. I do want to put the uh, nose mass up. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Nose length. Let's go ahead and make this a longer nose. Uh, here we got the definition. Okay, so that's good. Nostril height. Uh. And I think that the yeah the scale is a little off for that. Let's go ahead and make them like that, and maybe change the nose mass a little bit. Uh, scale, make it a little smaller. There we go. How do you, have you? If you guys are watching this, uh, how do you? Um, design your sims. Do you base them on celebrities or do you uh, just base them on your friends? Just make them up. How do you get them to be all so unique? Because that's the one thing I struggle with. Always struggle with that. Um, okay, this nose looks alright. Uh, nothing special. But let's go ahead and make these lips. Okay. I'm actually kind of okay with the lips she has. Um, I do like to curve the mouth and rotate the corners just because I like my sims to look a little bit friendly. Um, but I do want to give her more of a shape. So let's go ahead and uh, pull this in and do thickness in it. Uh, with a little, there we go. I feel like that looks a little cool. Okay, and I just want to make a couple more changes to her head. I feel like... Um, Something's wrong here. <laughs> okay, so let's do cheek fullness. Okay, I do like cheek, uh, cheekbone shape. Um, no crease. Okay. All right. I feel like her mouth needs to be a little wider. There we go. That's nice. Okay. So now let's go to hair. So the hair color needs to change. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and match root color. So we're going to change her hair color. Um, I don't have a blonde sim in the house, so it would be kind of cool to do one, but that is just too blonde for me. Okay. So let's see. What kind of hair do we want to do for this sim? She is a fairy. Um, I can't use this hair because I have another LP with a Sam that has this hairstyle. So, and I, it is blonde, and I'm so excited to start that LP. But that's another day. All right, so let's see here. Um, that's all right. I kind of like this. You know, I, I've never used this hairstyle, and I don't know if it looks too fairy. <laughs> but you know what? It's something different. 
I might just use that one, but let me just go through the other ones real quick and see. I do have quite a few expansion packs, so that does give me a wide variety of hair. Also, I have um, downloaded some store, store content, but when you purchase uh, Sims and the expansion packs on Origins, you actually do get a lot of store bonus content uh, for free. So there's a lot of hairstyles that are that are from the store that I have not paid for. So uh, just a little thing, if you guys do purchase it on there, you will get codes that you redeem. You have to redeem them yourself. It doesn't tell you to, so it's a little uh, confusing. But in your email that you get for the confirmation, it will tell you um, redeem this code, but it it won't tell you what you get. I actually just thought it was uh, you, it was registering my game, and it wasn't until I really, really read the email that I realized there was some secret stuff that you could unlock. Um, I've never used this hair before, but I kind of feel like I want to go with something funky like that short haircut. So you know what? I ain't going to go with that haircut. It's something different, never ever have used it before. Always thought I, could, I should use it, so we'll go with this one. Looks kind of cool. She's a funky fairy. Um, and the hair color, we're just going to change that a bit. We're going to make it a little darker. Uh, not too much darker. That looks cool with me. Uh, with a little bit of highlights, that's fine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to her looks, and we're going to do her makeup now. Okay, so freckles, freckles, I really do like freckles, but we're not going to put freckles on her. Okay, so let's go into the makeup. So we're going to see about her eyes. Those, we don't, no, we don't like that. Um, not a big fan of that either. Okay, so let's go with this. Now, what color do I want to do? Not um, let's see, there we go, and I'm just going to make it a little, see, I don't want to give her, a, like, a red eye look, though, <laughs> there we go, kind of like that, okay, and let's see about the eyeliner, I'm going to put some eyeliner on her, I'll go with this black and I'll just put the opacity down low. Blush. Um, yep. uh, let's put this down as well, like that. And uh, for lip color, okay, so I'm going to go just customize this a little bit more. Okay. I don't like anything that's too too bold. <laughs> I like my Sims to have like a, a naked lip look. There we go. I like that. That's pretty cool. Alright, so no tattoos. And we're going to make her a fairy. Oh, a genie. Okay, yeah. I'm definitely going to make a genie as well. Um, there we go. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if this hair is going to work, but <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so you also I get to choose, um, I think her wings, right? Yeah. Here. I think I like this one. Yeah. I like this wing, but I don't like the color. <laughs> um... I think I'm going to go with just white. Maybe this color, actually. That, that's not bad. Pink, that's cool. Okay, so, yeah, this hair, I don't know. It's just not screaming fairy. <laughs> Let's go with this one, I think. Oh, man, it totally changes her look, eh? Um, okay, maybe... Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, I will introduce you to the two new Sims. This is going to take me a while. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching, and see you soon.